So let me get the value to, to, uh, to the people on low incomes first. They go up to the bus stop, and we've already created this in beta, and, and lots of people have used it. The QR code, you scan it, and it says what jobs are available within one hour commute by bus from this bus stop. Not just that, what jobs have been in what sectors available within one hour of this bus stop in the last month? Wow. What skills are available with one hour commute from this bus stop? Now, education, lots of different people would want to pay for that information, right? And also to see that people are asking that question. Not who they are, but a number. Some people are, okay? Mm. So we can then start using AI in order to rethink what skills are and everything else. And this is a really important point. When it comes to jobs and recruitment, again, this is just listening. It's just simply listening, for God's sake, is that there's two groups of people which are very much aligned in this space that the pandemic showed. If you go to a job board, it is you go along to an office between nine to five and come back, right? This is a very, to use this term, patriarchal way of thinking about work, right? About jobs, it's really careful. So we decided that, no, actually when I spoke to young people, they don't think jobs, they think work. They have revenue streams, they have different opportunities, right? Also another group of people, and we call it triple F. So my linguist will have go at me if I say it as female friendly first, right? Because she didn't want it to be gender, but family friendly first, so we call it triple F. Yep. For a lot of people, and I'm gonna say the women I've spoken to, they tell us that they have to decode to job descriptions. Mm -hmm. They have to decode, is it truly hybrid? Is it truly flexible? Th they've got a whole different way of thinking about this mm -hmm. that is not taken care of. So these two sections actually think about work, not about job. And that's why we call it work search. And it's think about skills, recruitment, and everything else about work. For instance, we noticed Google Trend. Google Trend was saying, so this Google Trend is, do you see the trend of what Google searches are? And people are putting in evening work, right? Okay. And I was going, why are they putting in evening work? Remote? And I went, cost of living crisis and younger people. So we need to build skills for people to be able to create, let's say, an Instagram shop, right? That they would work on in the evening in order to create income, in order to um, top up their, their daily incomes. Yep. That's a completely different way of thinking about income. It's not about getting people not in jobs to jobs. It's about getting people who, who haven't got work income. Yeah. Now, AI is really good at this. And if you start, again, talking to people who don't usually get talked to, right? It's just simple. Talk to people who don't get talked to normally. You create new opportunities. But that's what tech and business always has been, is to find a market which is underserved and deliver services to it. But we don't when they're low income because we feel like, yeah. oh, that's charity. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a sector like anything else and should be treated with due care and respect like anyone else. Well done.